Hello, radiographers. Hope you are doing good. Welcome to CT scan technique pro course curriculum. So this video is about the course curriculum of the CT scan technique course. So let's start. So at first there is an overview of the course curriculum. So I have already posted MRI technique course. You can see in my YouTube playlist. And now I am uploading CT scan technique course for radiographers. And in this CT scan technique course pro, there is five modules and 35 lectures. And after each module, there will be a MCQ test. So total five MCQ tests for five modules. And this each MCQ test have 20 marks. And you have to attend this 20 marks test. And the modules are, the first module is about the physics and instrumentation. So in this module, you will learn about the CT scan machines parts and the principles and inside gantry. So lots of things in this module. And then the patient care is the second module. The third module is the cross-sectional anatomy. And the fourth module is the imaging technique and protocols. And fifth module is CT angiogram technique. So these five modules will cover the cross section, uh, sorry, CT scan technique course. And each module have few lectures that you will watch sequentially. So let's know about the first module that is physics and instrumentation and what is inside this module. So the first lecture is about introduction and basic principles of CT scan. So this is a very basic tutorial and you have to watch this at first, begin at the beginning of the CT scan course. And it will help, help you a lot to know about the basic things of the CT scan. And the lecture two is about data acquisition. So in this tutorial, you will learn about how X-ray passes through the body and what the materials, what are the materials that involved in making a CT scan image and what is the process. And then lecture three is about image reconstruction. And in this tutorial, you will learn about the process of image reconstruction, how the raw data becomes the image data and how we can see a CT scan image into the monitor and how it works. And lecture four is about image display. So what are the things required to display a image and how it works? And lecture five is about methods of data acquisition. So there are several methods of that data acquisition. So we will learn about this. So lecture six is about image quality and artifacts. So this is a very important tutorial and in this tutorial we'll see the we will uh, difference technique of to reduce image artifact and to increase image quality. And lecture seven is the quality assurance. So how we can assure the quality of the image there are various techniques and lecture eight is the post-processing technique. So we have to do post-processing of several image data. And by post-processing, we can create CD images, angiogram images. We learn this. And lecture nine is the data management. So how we can manage data and store data. So these things are included in this tutorial. So this is the total nine lecture in this module. So all the 
tutorials will going to be very important for you. And now let's move to module two and it's a patient care. So in patient care, the lecture 10 is the patient communication. So we have to communicate with the patient during the procedure, after the procedure. And it's a very important, we will learn this. And then lecture 11 is patient preparation. So to get a quality image, we need to prepare patient before the procedure. And each procedure have different types of preparation to be taken for patient. So we will learn about this in this tutorial. And lecture 12 is about contrast agent, very important tutorial about CT skin contrast, its uses, its dose, and, and its the risks and benefits, and how to manage the emergency situation, and also the uh, reaction, post-contrast reaction. So this will be included in this tutorial. So you will be, you will enjoy and will watch this. And lecture 13 is injection technique. So there are different techniques of giving injection in CT scan. And we need to give contrast during CT scan procedure like uh, abdomen chest and uh, angiogram. So we will learn about the injection techniques in this tutorial. And then the lecture 14 is radiation dosimetry in CT. And in this tutorial, we'll learn about the radiation dose, that what are the limitations of dose for patients and a radiographer, and how to minimize the radiation dose for public and for patient and also for the technologist. So these are five lectures in this module, all very important lectures you will get in this playlist. And now let's move to module three. This is cross sectional anatomy. So now we will learn about the anatomy and its CT anatomy. And at first, in its lecture 15, we will learn about the head, neck, and spine anatomy in CT scan image. And in lecture 16, we'll learn about thorax or chest anatomy. And lecture 17, we'll learn about abdomen and pelvis anatomy. And in lecture 18, this is musculoskeletal. That means in this tutorial, we'll include power musculoskeletal anatomy in the CT image. And now is module four, imaging technique and protocols. So in this module, the first lecture is CT head and brain. So in this tutorial, we'll learn how to do CT scan of head and brain, and it will include the technique, indication, and planning for CT scan, brain, and also the patient positioning. And next, we'll learn about the CT air and HRCT temporal bone. So both this technique will include in this tutorial. In, you will watch this. And the next one is lecture 21 is about CT scan of PNS. So in this tutorial, we'll learn about the technique of PNS patient positioning integration planning. And lecture 22 will cover CT scan of neck. So we'll learn in this tutorial CT scan of neck technique with and without contrast and the planning, patient positioning. And the next one, the lecture 23 is the CT or HRCD chest. So it's a very common and important tutorial for CT scan of chest and HRCT chest, how to do it, what are the techniques, and how to plan this, and how to print this. So you will watch this tutorial in lecture 23. And the next one is 24, and it's about triphase liver. CT triphase liver, a very important CT scan. So liver CT scan will be taken in uh, with contrast and a triphase CT scan will be done. That is arterial, portal venous and delayed. 
and then the lecture 25 is about city whole abdomen so there is preparation for whole abdomen all, all and also there are some technique important technique of whole abdomen how to do it and indication planning we will see this and then lecture 26 about ct kub and urogram so in this tutorial i have included the two technique one is kub only kub and one is with urogram so both are very important ct scan and then lecture 27 is ct upper and lower limbs so now we are we go we'll go to periphery and it's about the upper and lower limbs so these are the nine tutorial we'll cover in this module imaging technique and protocols so hope you will watch all the tutorial and then in this module 5 city angiogram technique so i have included at first, the techniques of CT angiogram. So this is lecture 28, and in this tutorial, I have included various techniques of CT angiogram. You will learn different techniques, like bolus taking and test bolus, how it works. And in lecture 29, I have included CT cerebral and carotid angiogram. That means CT cerebral or brain angiogram and carotid angiogram or neck vessels how to do this angiogram you learn this in this tutorial and in lecture 30 i have included ct pulmonary angiogram so how to do pulmonary angiogram and where to place the roi and the amount of contrast and the flow rate amount of dose so everything will be covered here and lecture 31 is very important CT angiogram and it's a CT coronary angiogram or cardiac angiogram. So this is a very important and very complicated angiogram. You will learn this in this tutorial. And lecture 32, CT abdominal angiogram. Another angiogram, important angiogram. And there are different techniques of abdominal angiogram. You will learn this in this tutorial. And lecture 33 includes CT renal angiogram. So almost similar like abdominal and renal angiogram, a little bit of difference. So you will learn about this. So when only renal angiogram, uh, when only renal arteries are advised, then doctor wants to see the renal arteries and you will show the renal arteries and also the renal bases inside the parenchyma. So we will learn about this in this tutorial. And lecture 34, we will include the CT lower limb angiogram. So this is a peripheral angiogram of lower limb. So it includes from the lower abdomen to the foot. And it's a very important angiogram. There are different techniques like bolus checking or test bolus and what are the amount of the contrast and what is the dose and flow rate and also the yeah, ROI placement. So all you learn this in this tutorial. And the last one is the lecture 35 and the CT upper limb angiogram. So this angiogram will show you the upper limb vessels from arch of the aorta to the fingertip. So this is an important technique and, and defined position for this angiogram. And also important to know the ROI placement and the flow rate of the contrast, amount of contrast. So all the angiogram techniques will include in this module. So this will be very helpful to you, especially for the beginners. And now I will show you some tips. I will tell you some tips as to how to watch this CT scan course tutorials. And the first stage is to you you can use close caption to see in these subtitles so as these tutorials are recorded previously during my online ct scan course and where i took classes and was recorded 
and this tutorials while uh, I lecture in Bangla language. So for Bangladeshi people or Bangla language people, these tutorials are okay. But if you from other countries, so you can use uh, closed caption to see English subtitles and you, it will be very helpful for you. And I will suggest you to watch the tutorial sequentially one by one. So it will uh, helpful you to understand the from the basic to advanced. And I would request you not to download the videos and watch these videos online. So it will help you to maintain the playlist. And I will again another tips I will give you that if you some don't understand something, you can watch it again and again, and it will help to uh, understand the concept and clear the topics. And try to note down what you find new to you and important. So during the watching the tutorial, you will find that something you you don't knew before, and you will know that this is an important thing and you will, this is new for you. So you can write it down and that can help you. And you can also maintain a diary or notebook for this course. And you can note down by each module or each lecture and it will help you in future. And if you repeat this tutorial and then you will, you will have under, you will have a good understanding about the about these videos and the city scan process. And the next, next tutorial is don't skip videos as you can miss important lessons. So I will suggest you to watch the videos uh, in full and not to skip because sometimes there are several important topics or important lectures that you can miss. And the last one about the test or exam. So every, after every module, there will be a tutorial about the MCQ test. So you can uh, take a test by watching the this test video. And I will suggest you to sit with a pen and paper and write one to 20 points. And when correct answer reveals, mark yourself one and for correct and zero for wrong answer. At the end, total the number. So we will mark yourself, but watching this video, a MCQ will be highlighted without the answer. So you will answer first and you will write down the answer. And after I revealing the answer, then you will mark you. So if your answer is right, then you will mark one. And if the answer is wrong, then you will mark zero. So after the 20, 20 questions, exam is finished and then you will total your number. So this is the process. So hope you enjoyed this course curriculum and it will help you a lot and not only in your academic study and it will also in your practical life and it will help you to and it will grow your confidence for any job interview. So hope you will watch all this video tutorials that I have made with lots of effort and hard works. Besides my job, I try to provide you my or share you share to you my knowledge and experience with this tutorial. So hope you enjoyed this course curriculum and be a good CT scan technologist. So best wishes for you and thanks for watching and welcome to the CT scan technique course pro. So you will be a professional CT scan technologist after watching this playlist. Thank you.